Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the channel, Vintage Sports God Finds. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Um, our latest video was a, did real well and I just want to thank everybody who watched. And I want to continue to anybody who's uh, subscribed. Um, before we get off on what we're doing today, let me thank you uh, for all the subscribers who have subscribed. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe, comment, like. Uh, share and all of that love to interact with you guys so without further ado let's get into what we're doing today which is um i've talked about this in the past which is my red Sox binder uh one of the things i do in my collection is put together a team binder uh, i call it my red Sox binder but it really isn't just one binder anymore it's four binders filled with every red Sox card i've ever come across so, we're going to do this probably in two parts, I'm guessing. Uh, this one is the vintage part. So, without further ado, let's take a look at what we got. So, as you can see here, some 59 Red Sox. I think these are, 50, these are 58, 59. I think they're 59s. Uh, these are pretty much common. Uh, and they're kind of off condition. Um trying to see there are some really good cards in this in this binder uh that's a 51 bowman i believe uh 1960 so 1960 socks frank sullivan some good stuff there um let me kind of flip through these are some 61 red socks and just so you guys know how i do this Basically, what I do is I um, find the – I have, like, a 1961 set that I'm working on. Uh, anytime I come up with duplicates, I'll put them in this binder. And if, you know, obviously, if the one I'm looking at is in better shape than the ones in here, then I replace it and so on and so forth. So pretty straightforward – Kind of like you would upgrade a set. Um, these are some more 61s. Some 57s that I kind of put in here because I didn't have a lot of 57s. Some 62s. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show off some of the older cards. Uh, some 65s. And obviously, what you end up finding a lot in these early years is some commons. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Uh, these are 66s. I always get confused. Uh, 66, 67. You know, which, which, which year is which? You know... Um, so Dick Raditz, the monster, uh, this is a guy who used to get saves the old, the old fashioned way, right? Three inning saves for Dick Raditz. And I, I, somebody would have to fill me in on why they called him the monster. And these are 67s starting with manager Dick Williams, you know, George Scott, this is a good one. It's the boomer. Uh, he's, he's a good ball player. So they're in pretty good shape. They start obviously they get in better shape as we go. So there's another George Scott. That's the '68. So here we have Tony Canigliaro. Tony C. Tragic uh, had that um, hit by pitch that pretty much ruined his career. Um, but he was rookie. I believe he was rookie of the year. And so some 68s, some more 68s here. The Landis. Um, and Rico Petroselli. So this is a nice looking card. You know, not in great shape, but uh, certainly would would qualify to put in a set. So I have one in better condition in my set. So here we have a number of 68s with Yaz. So there's the Yastrzemski in tough shape. 
Obviously, my 68 Yaz is in better shape than one that's in the set. Uh, Ken Harrelson, the Hawk. And then you have a bunch of Yaz's in, um, like, league leaders. So, 67 RBI league leaders. Yaz was the leader. Obviously, Yaz won the Triple Crown in 1967. So, and then the, the Red Sox went all the way to the World Series. It wasn't 67, yeah. Um, and uh, I believe lost to St. Louis. Um, I'd have to double check that, but I believe it's St. Louis. Um, and so the cool thing about these league leader cards is you get a lot of, like, players, like, good players on. So you have Yaz, Harmon Kilbrew, Frank Robinson, all, all Hall of Famers here. You have... Batting leaders, uh, again, Frank Robinson, Al Kaline, and a Yaz there. Uh, Jim Longboard, uh, pitching leaders, strikeout leaders. So it's him. And then he has another one with home run leaders, uh, Frank Howard. And this card's in tough shape, you know, uh, pretty creased up, etc. And then some of the World Series, Petroselli homers. Uh, yep, the cards. Uh, in this World Series, it came down to seven games, and in true Red Sox fashion, they lost it in Game Seven. Longborg, gentleman Jim uh, Longborg, had a really good series. Um, and then you have some of these, um, you know, um, game cards, and there you go, the Stremski game card. So it's nice, nice little set. Uh, doesn't I don't think I have all of them, but. You know, I, I pick them up as I go. So there's Jim Longborg, 1969. Rico Petroselli. Ken Harrelson again. Some more team leaders here. Uh, league leaders, rather. Um, there's Jazz again. Batting leaders with the league again in average. And RBI leaders. Lee Strange. Sparky Lyle. That's a nice card. Jose Tartable, manager Dick Williams. He was the manager of that 67 Red Sox team. Dalton Jones. And there's another Tony C. Red Sox rookie stars, Ken Brett. That's um, George Brett's brother. There's Captain Carl. And then some... Desi Estremsky, 1970. Not in bad shape. Eddie Casco. I'm going to try to go through these as quickly as I can. It's a pretty big binder. But there's some nice cards in here. You know, I love the look of the vintage cards. So there's George Scott, Boomer again. Um, so a lot of the players are repetitive because back in this day... There wasn't a lot of changing of teams unless it was through trade. There's a nice Tony C. And here's an autographed Rico Petroselli. This actually was an autographed. Um, as you know, many of the cards, especially from the 70s or even in the 60s, have like facsimile signatures. But those aren't actually genuine signatures. That's a genuine Rico Petroselli signature. Uh, let's see, Bob Montgomery, longtime voice of the Red Sox, too. Played for the Red Sox. And then Bill Lee, the spaceman Bill Lee. Nice card there. Another George Scott. 1971, very tough set. Uh, uh, Condition-sensitive set. So, you know, very tough to find these in nice condition. Billy Can Canigliero, that's uh, Tony's little brother. Um. Harmon Kilbury, Yaz, and Frank Howard, home run leaders. And a Red Sox team card. These team cards are really nice because, you know, they're really kind of hard to find now these, these days. Uh, a lot of them were checklists. So, you know, tough to find them unmarked. Uh, that one, the, the 71 isn't actually a checklist. 
but you know but a lot of them are there's a 72 yaz 72 rico petroselli louis apparicio another sparky lyle tommy harper Here's another nice leaders card. Killebrew, Frank Robinson, and Reggie Smith. Another team card. Again, that one's not a checklist. The 73s. Sorry, I'm trying to hold this as steady as possible. Louis Aparicio. Very tough to see. There's a Carlton Fisk second year card. So that's a nice one. I have his rookie in the 72. Um, I'm sorry, yeah, in the 72 set, but I don't have a duplicate of that yet that I can put in the binder. Bob Montgomery again. Nice Yaz from 73. That's a nice condition. Um, Carlton and Louis Tiant. Louis Tiant again. Petroselli. Spaceman Bill Lee. I have actually... Talk to this guy. He's an incredible. <laughs> he's an incredible. Uh, he's got incredible stories. I mean, just something to to behold when uh, when he gets when he gets going and in in story mode. Um, of course, this is the big year. The big rookie this year would have been um, Dwight Evans. I have Dwight Evans rookie again in the set, but not here. So there's a seventy. Uh, for 74 Fisk. And there's Dwight Evans' second year card. Another Louis Aparicio. Another Louis Tiant. Bill Lee. Cecil Cooper. Bernie Carbo. Very famous for one of, uh, one of his home runs in game six. Rick Miller. There's the Yaz from 74. That was hiding behind the other 73. Petroselli. Bob Montgomery. Kind of a comments page except for Orlando Cepeda. Tommy Harper. Rick Wise. Juan Marichal traded to the Red Sox. Diego Segui. Tommy Harper, stolen base leaders for the year, along with Lou Brock. Uh, rookie Dick Pohl. <laughs> I have a subscriber uh, who does uh, did an interesting story about his wife's collection of Dick Pohl cards. Uh, Huck Sports Cards, if you're listening, uh, I remember that story. A great video. Uh, and then here... Nice card with Johnny Bench and Carlton Fisk. The 75s, Dwight Evans, Carlton Fisk. I love this this particular group of Red Sox. These would have been the legends before I really started watching the team uh, in the early 80s. Tim McCarver, another Dick Pohl card. Uh, Cecil Cooper, Rick Burleson. Uh, Tommy Harper. And there you go. Yeah, another Yaz. Rick Miller. Rico Petroselli towards the end of his career. And then um, Freddie Lynn, rookie. And a Jim Rice, rookie. So obviously I have both of these cards in the set. But these are ones I had that were duplicates that I was able to put into the binder. I take great joy in this binder uh, and always improving on it. So it's I'm I'm really excited to kind of show it off uh, because I love it, it's a labor of love, you know, finding the right card and putting it in. So there's Fisk Lee, Montgomery Freddie Lynn, Gold Cup card, second year. Um, the late 70s, I have 
most of uh, most of the players. So Yastrzemski, Dwight Evans, uh, one of my favorite players of all time, Dwight Evans. Uh, when I was in Little League, I used to uh, imitate his stance. Uh, Jim Rice, this is the first card he's on where he's um, by himself. Another Dick Pole card. <laughs> and then a Ted Williams, the Sporting News, all-time All-Stars. Friggy Jenkins traded. Tom House. Now, I learned an interesting fact about Tom House. Tom House is the guy who caught Hank Aaron's record-breaking home run. Um, I don't know if it was when... I think he was the one who caught it. Uh, yeah, the, the record-breaking home run, the one that uh, where he passed... I think it was the one where he passed um, Babe Ruth. Some more rookies. And nobody of note, though. Uh, George Scott, another Louis Tiant, Freddie Lynn, batting leaders, Carlton Fisk. I have a friend who says um, if Freddie Lynn had stayed in Boston, he would have been a Hall of Famer. Um, Freddie Lynn left Boston in the 80s, uh, late 70s, early 80s. There's another Bill Lee, Fisk. Dwight Evans uh, left him in the early 80s and uh, then he kind of bounced around everywhere went to the Angels I believe then he was with the Orioles and the Padres and so on and so forth uh, the guy who would have been much better off staying in Boston would have been uh, probably a Hall of Famer uh, these are 77s there's Yaz is starting to get old. Captain Carl, Fergie Jenkins. So here's another Tom House. This Tom House is actually autoed, um, as you can see. Uh, Yastrzemski, Tian, Fisk, Bill Lee. Bob Stanley, I think that's a Bob Stanley rookie from 78. So there's a Jim Rice, 78. Dwight Evans, 78. I like that card. Um, Bob Montgomery. George Scott. Freddie Lynn. Yaz. Getting older in each picture. <laughs> Mike Torres. Kind of the commons, Butch Hobson, who later became manager of the um, Red Sox in the 80s. Friggy Jenkins. Don Zimmer, probably most famous. He was the manager, of course. I think he was the manager uh, of the team during the 75 series. Um, and then he was famous for that whole incident with Pedro. Uh, where he got tossed to the ground. I included this Dennis Eckersley because, um, you know, it was close to his rookie year. So I threw it in there. I don't know if I'll keep it in there or not, but certainly I threw it in there for now. Jerry Remy, a longtime um, announcer for the Red Sox on Nesson. Jim Rice, these are 79s. Bob Stanley, another Dwight Evans. Dwight Evans ended up going to the. Um, Dwight Evans ended up going to the uh, Orioles in his last year. Probably should have ended up ended his career with the Red Sox. Freddie Lynn, there's Eckersley as a Red Sox. Uh, Louis Tian, and then Carlton Fisk. Bill Lee. So, kind of repetitive. There you go. That's a nice card. Uh, Jim Rice and George Foster. And then I include like Opeachy cards like Bill Campbell, Opeachy. 
Then it's 1980. There's Yaz, Remy. And it's the Red Sox kind of dipped this year. Brock and Yaz entered the 3,000 hit club during the 79 campaign. Another Freddie Lynn. Freddie Lynn and Keith Hernandez. Jim Rice. Surprised I haven't been able to find a better Jim Rice than that. A little badly off center. Uh, but 1980, that's what you get. Um, so in these years, I have most of the team sets. They're pretty, they either very, very close or they are complete. It's 1981 Flair. Dwight Evans, first year of Flair. Carlton Fisk. Freddie Lynn. Jim Rice. This set has grown on me a little bit. Not my favorite, but not bad either. Jerry Remy. And this Zim. Big water chew in his mouth. Um, and an 81 Dunn Russ. Kind of the same cast of characters. Yastrzemski. Glenn Hoffman. One of, one of those players I kind of grew up with. Um, Fisk. Yeah, these are 81 tops. Eck. Evans. These are cards that are mo much easier to get. Much easier to put a team set like this together. Um, 1981 is pretty much everywhere. Bob Stanley. And so these I'm going to, so in the 80s, I'm just going to focus on some of the rookies. Although, I will say this, I did include the Coca-Cola cards. So the Jim Rice Coca-Cola, that's a little bit more difficult to find than just a regular 1981. Bob Stanley. Frank Tanana, and then I include some of these cards like this, uh, you know, 82s, Jim Rice, Tony Perez, Evans, Eck, Yaz, getting up there in age. Frank Tanana, Glenn Hoffman. And so this one's an interesting one. That's a Bruce Hurst rookie card. It's a nice card. Um, then you got 82. Again, mostly the same cast of characters in 82. Bob Stanley. Yastrzemski. Say Steve Crawford autograph. And then the Steve Crawford without the autograph. So sometimes I've been able to pick up these autos here and there. And you pick them up as you go. Um, then I liked Billy so much that when he went over to um, the Expos, I kind of kept a card of his. Jim Rice, Danny Ainge, rookie. 80, 82. That might not even be a rookie. The 81 is the one I should include in here. Um, Bob Stanley, Tony Perez, Jim Rice, Dwight Evans. So kind of the same cast of characters. I'm kind of looking for cards that maybe stick out. Rich Gedman. I don't know if that's a rookie card. I'd have to kind of look that one up. Bob Ojeda. So these guys are the guys I remember watching play as they kind of went for the 86 World Series. And we're almost done with this particular binder. Um, Bruce Hurst. Eck. By this point, Ralph Hawk is the manager. There you go. So there's a Wade Boggs rookie. Tops. Jim Rice. So this is a 
I want to say one of uh, Yastrzemski's last cards. I think it's his last tops card for sure. I believe, I th- or there might have been a kind of like commemorative in '84. Carney Lansford, Glenn Hoffman, Tony Perez. Um, so there's another auto. That's John Tudor auto in the John Tudor regular card. Um, Reed Nichols. Anybody here of any consequence on this page? Not really. These are some traded's, so I included the traded's, Mike Brown, etc. So any Red Sox card I can get my hands on, I compare it and see if if there's one in here. So Yaz, Eck, Jim Rice, Stremski. I think I don't know if there was a Wade Boggs this year. I think there was, and I don't think I have it in here. Obviously, I have it in my 83 set. Um, there is a Wade Boggs in here. So that's the 83 Donruss Wade Boggs rookie. Jim Rice. And we got Jerry Remy. then 84 so this is what i was referring to i think this might have been yaz's last tops card you know they included this um dwight evans marty barrett Wade bog second year rich gadman um 1983 highlights i think that card says yeah superstars bench gaylord perry and yastrzemski retire so i mean it's kind of an end of an era right there Tony Armez, and you can see that the team is changing over a little bit. Jim Rice All Star card and his base. Jerry Remy, Bob Ojeda, Glenn Hoffman. I remember him well from the World Series. He was on that team. And then a Jim Rice Opeachy. So I included uh, some of the Opeachy cards, Mike Easler. John Tudor, Dave Stapleton, and then Bruce Hurst Opeachy, Tony Armes, Dwight Evans Opeachy, Bob Stanley, and Gary Alice. So that's pretty much it for that first part. So as you can see, the binder basically goes from um, the vintage era to... 1984 and at one point it went from vintage to 1989 and 1990 and so on and so forth but the fact of the matter is over the years as the cards have filled in i've had to dip back and you know each subsequent binder goes into like different years so the 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 mid 80s and into the um, maybe early 90s has a lot of the key rookies from that era. And if I do a second video, that'll probably be uh, the one that I'll include. Uh, so um, those, we'll, we'll talk about some of the big rookies in, 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 those, uh, in those sets. Uh, I want to thank you for watching as always. Thank you for everyone who subscribes and comments. Uh, you're, I appreciate you guys wholeheartedly. If you have any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments. Um, and um, happy hunting and thanks for watching.